So we're here today uh, finally for the opening of First Folio. Had the First Folio never been printed seven years after Shakespeare died, uh, half of Shakespeare's plays that we know today, including plays like Macbeth and Julius Caesar, would have been lost. Uh, only the most prominent books like the Bible were printed in this deluxe format and the book's status as an art object, it's a beautifully printed book, testifies to the greatness of, of Shakespeare's literary reputation uh, only a few short years after his death. Do you want New Orleans to be or not to be? There's so many words and sayings that have become part of our consciousness, um, and it's because of Shakespeare and his command, his love uh, of the English language and, and what he's taught us. It's the greatest book in the English language. It's a great chance not just to see a great book, but if someone's a budding book collector or a collector of any kind, it's a field where you can always learn. New Orleans could do something for Shakespeare on the 400th anniversary of his death that no other city in America and no city in the world could give him, and that's a proper jazz funeral. We were contacted by the town of Stratford and invited to premiere the jazz funeral in Stratford on April 23rd on the actual 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. The exhibition is free and open to the public and it's very important for us, the Newcomb Art Museum of Tulane University, to be a resource for the community. Having the first folio here is an enormous privilege and an honor.